Um, today I am going to be changing my industrial for the first time. Um, I do have like a keloid or keloid or however you pronounce it um, on the top. I don't know if you can see it. This is the first one that I've ever had with like any type of piercing. So, and what that is is just um, it's basically scar tissue that's built up there. Um, doesn't really hurt. It's kind of just annoying. Um, so yeah, um, before we start, and I'll get better lighting, um, you need to make sure that you have very clean hands because you don't want to get in any kind of infection. Um, have, what I have is bobby pins just to clip my hair back kind of right here so that I can see better and the hair won't get caught in it or anything. Um, Q-tips, uh, have your sea salt water just to clean the area. Um, I'm not a professional, this is just how I do it and I've never had any infections or anything else happen so this is just how I do it and if you don't like it then don't watch I guess. Um, so it's been about three months since I got my industrial pierce so make sure that you've waited the time. What I'm going to be putting in, I have to have a surgery done, like a procedure done on Friday so I have to actually have a retainer in so I'm going to put that in which is just, um, I'll show you guys when I'm like done getting lighting and stuff because everything's clean um, and it's just uh, like a bioflex bar with the two balls so there's no metal in it it's all like basically plastic and I've heard that it's easier to sleep with it as well <laughs> um, it's kind of a pain to sleep with the metal bar in so I guess we'll see how that goes so yeah, um, I'm going to go get better lighting and then wash my hands one more time and then I will be back. So I actually moved to the living room because there's a little bit more natural light coming in because um, I don't really have any other lights. Um, and I washed my hands. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just pin your hair back with your bobby pins or put it up in a pony or whatever you want to do and make sure that your hair is out of the way because you don't want to get anything caught in there. Okay, so I hope that this is going to be alright for you guys. Um, I have my mirror set up like right there so I'm going to be looking in the mirror and you guys can watch as I do it. So first what you want to do is make sure you have your this is my bar that I'm putting in and the little balls go on the ends so you can go ahead and put one of the balls on the end on one of the ends just so that when you're putting it through you don't have to worry about putting the ball on after you've gotten it in. So just screw it on. Make sure that it's really tight because you don't want it coming off. Like that. So that is going to be, and it's going to go like that. Okay. So let's get started. Um, make sure that you have your salt, sea salt water ready. Um, I just use Q-tips, clean Q-tips. Um, if you want, just go over that again. I am going to clean kind of around the area. Get everything nice and clean for when you're taking the bar out and putting your new one in. Get all the hair out of the way. 
Okay. So now, I really hate changing, like, piercings, body jewelry. Um, I just don't like it. I always have a fear of not being able to get it through and then it closing up. Because when I was younger, that happened quite a bit. But, anyway, so, I am going to take my bottom ball off first and as I'm sliding it out I'm going to be sliding this one through just so it makes everything easier Okay, so what I'm going to do, because it's taking a little bit to get the ball off, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back when the ball is off. So I am back and I got the bottom ball off. Pain in the butt. <laughs> um, so now basically what I did is just cleaned around the bottom just to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to slowly pull it through and as I'm pulling it through, I'm going to thread my new one in. Okay, so we got the first little bit. Now we are going to go through the top. Like so. That's the old bar. <laughs> so now I'm going to clean it. Make sure it's really clean. So use your salt water, clean all over, just make sure that it's nice and clean, you don't want the area to get infected at all. It is sore. Tender. So make sure you just get in there and clean all around it. Okay, and then you're going to take your other ball and just put it on the top. Remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I finally got the top ball on. Um, the bar is a little bit longer than my old one, but that's just because that's the only length they had. Um, I got it at my local mall. They have just like a stand there with, for body piercings and body jewelry and stuff. So, yeah, so that is what it looks like. It's blue. Take my hair down now. 
So yeah, if you guys have any questions or want any other videos, um, just let me know. Message me or comment. Thanks.